so when you get this uh <clears throat> atlas trigger they send the bow and the shoe they're not put together uh they're just like in separate bags so you have to screw the shoe right onto this bow and that's why i said you can adjust the the length of it so uh, you can you know screw it on just a little bit and it'll come out further um i mean it's not it's not like a huge adjustment but you know you could you can adjust it to be further out the, like here uh i have it all the way not all the way on because if you go if you go any tighter that screw will start coming through and i wanted it to be nice and flush so i put some loctite on that i don't know if you could see it's like red yeah so that it doesn't come loose I just want it to be nice and tight so those tabs right here are your pre-travel tabs so you adjust those you just what i did was i bent them out further than i needed and then i pushed it in there because you you know you won't be able to tell exactly what you need until the gun's all back together and short of putting it together and taking it apart 20 times so what I suggest is just bend them out a little bit further than you need, which you're not going to know that. So just bend them out pretty good. That'll put the trigger about flush inside the magwell. And then put it all back together. And then what you can do is you can push the trigger from the back forward. And bend those tabs exactly where you need or where you want. I wanted a little bit of pre-travel because I don't want it resting right on the sear. So I wanted just a little, a little bit of pre-travel. Uh, and then the over-travel tab obviously is that little screw there. So once you put it back together, you just need a little wrench that'll fit through there. Be careful not to scratch it. And then adjust that. Uh, I also put Loctite on that because I don't want that screw. Um, over travel screws can be dangerous in 1911s for concealed carry purposes because if the screw drifts too far back, your gun will not go off. And uh, that could, you know, be pretty bad, obviously. Uh, I'm not too worried about that because I use Loctite. And that screw is not going anywhere. I use the red Loctite. I don't know why everybody hates on it so much. Uh, I uh, use it on my big truck and equipment all the time. The red Loctite is, you know, it, it's it's really good. Depending on what you need it for. I mean, if you try to unscrew that right now, you'll you'll bend, you'll bend the Allen key. It'll just bend it with red Loctite. To get red Loctite loose, you need heat. Uh, and still, that doesn't make it super easy, but that's the point. Uh, I, I want it permanent. I don't want it loose. So, basically, you just adjust those tabs. I mean, it comes just like this. I mean, it's ready to go. Put that on there. Let's throw it in. And then let's uh, reverse the process. I would, I would caution people to be careful with the safety because on a traditional 1911, obviously you got a steel frame, you, you can't do any damage, uh, you know what I mean? It's just like, well, what are you going to do to the, the frame? But this is polymer, and I could see this being a weak point uh, in the future, where this, because this is uh, a traditional 1911 style magazine release and i mean it's a little wider this you can't use a 1911 mag release but it's the same style and it has a little tab 
that comes out and it goes right let's see if we can see it goes right into that little crevice and as you can see it's just plastic well it's the polymer and it's just like a little tiny cutout um, I could see that starting to stretch it out eventually you know creating a pretty big cavity in there so you push it back in turn the screw and then uh, push it a few times to make sure it's not getting hung up if it's getting hung up then just push it back and and turn the screw back just a very tiny little bit until it's nice and lined up pretty good and then it should be nice and smooth just like that now you're good to go now i got a stuff in those i've been working nights and it's been freezing cold i always get sick whenever it goes back to winter oh if it isn't allergies it's the cold you can't ever win all right uh you'll notice there's some parts that are different on this gun than what originally came these are also from atlas i like these better because they they fit super snug and they keep it nice and tight uh the frame to grip tight fitment is just a lot tighter with these in my opinion So you'll see it has the, the flat part that's for the flat part goes to the top toward the frame. Really snug once you get them in there. All right, so I you, you can barely push those through. When you put the screw in, the screw will start to suck it in. Just make sure you don't cross thread it and strip these that's why i had to replace them because of the factory ones that came with it they were pretty cheap and crappy so i'm gonna push that nice and snug i'm not gonna crank it down too tight i just want it to be nice and snug and put the other one in for once it's uh, once they're both in, then I'll go ahead and crank them down. Something, there's a, I don't know if Staccato's and other 2011's are like this, but to me it's, there's, inside this polymer grip, there's metal where this screw goes on the left hand side, on this side, there's actually metal inside this grip, and it doesn't appear the same on the other side, which is kind of weird. So I don't know if that is just a 2011 grip thing. But again, these are nice and snug fits. All right, uh, now don't forget to put that screw back in. It's just kind of hand tight. This 
is my Allen key for my adjustable gas block. It manages to fit these. Alright. Since they're all in, now that one's in, I'm going to go ahead and snug these down pretty decent. This one here I'm more comfortable with cranking down pretty tight because I know it's metal. I don't know what the torquing spec is. I'm, there's probably There probably is one. Keep in mind it's polymer and you don't want to go too crazy. I've been just doing them snug like that and uh, after I go shooting they're not loose so that's kind of what I'm aiming for. If your screws are going loose after you're shooting, then maybe just get some blue Loctite and put on there. That way you don't have to try to crank them down to the point where you're crushing the polymer. All right, now I gotta put the sear in. You'll see these are nice and polished. Because I polished them. And after polishing them, I'll show you what this thing pulls. This is kind of a tricky part, but uh, once you do it a bunch of times, you'll see you want to push that disconnector up to where it's barely sticking through the top, like you normally see it. Once that disconnector is where it's at, grab the little pin and just put pressure against them. You'll hold them to where they're at. And then push down, go on the top of that. That one wants to fall. All right, that one is just floating around in there now, okay. Now that one's in. Now you just push that one up. Bang. Got them. It might take you a few times to get those. I guess I would say those are probably the most difficult part about doing this. But I mean, it's not, none of it's difficult. It's just, that's a little tricky. All right, once you got your hammer in, now take your sear spring. And get it in there and hold it. Don't let it get out of position. And then throw your mainspring in just enough to hold it there. I'll go ahead and line that up. You want to get that thing into the, that little, there we go. You want to make sure you get it into that little, the deepest part of that mainspring. It'll make your life easier whenever you're putting the pin back in there. So now you can put the pin back in there. I don't know what order people do this in. This is just how I do it and it works. I use these Allen keys because they're they got a round bottom 
and they fit nicely into that without scratching it up. Now you're almost done. So you go ahead and put your I don't know why I just drew a blank. Can't even think of the name of that. Now you're gonna need to cock the hammer to put your safeties back in. I always put the this one in first. I will say that on this 2011, that pin will shoot out of there. It's not like a normal 1911 where it stays in there. That will come out. So keep that in mind. The first time you take it off, you might want to shoot and you might lose it. All right. Just push it in and they go in the same way that came out which I guess I didn't explain that all right so to get these ambies off you want to cock the hammer and you want to wiggle them out somewhere in the middle so a uh, safety disengaged all the way up safety engaged right in between those two points right in the middle is where they will come apart nice and easy so just go all the way up oh yeah that's a good point uh if you go too far up without the slide on that little pin will shoot out and be a pain which i guess i should have remembered that because this happened to me already So don't go all the way up, but just right in there. And then they come right off. They'll just wiggle out. If uh, if it's the first time, they might be pretty tough. Uh, what you can do is you can put it in the middle, wiggle it a little bit, and you can shove something in there. But be careful because you can scratch it up, obviously. Uh, when they're really tight, I use a knife and I carefully put it in there. And it pops it out. I haven't scratched anything up yet. But. It's probably not the way you want to do it. Just a very little bit of pre-travel there. The reset is crazy. Reset. Right. Now after some polishing, and a little bit of tuning. I got this thing down. Originally, I think it was five and a half, maybe a little bit heavier. And then just putting in that trigger, brought it down to like four, about four average.
so now it's like three and a half on average after uh after you shoot a bunch it actually gets a little bit lighter i'd say like a half a pound starts to come off I think last time I went shooting, I was down to, uh, I thought it was a little bit less than that, I guess. I guess not. Alright guys, there is the uh, install for the Atlas trigger that a couple people had requested. Uh, I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. God bless.